Hello and welcome to this new video. It is part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. Today we will see the basic operations that you have to know about the MQTT protocol. In the next video, I will make an example where you will control an LED with a push button. In the third video, it will be an advanced example with a multi-threading. We will need the MQTT protocol as a way of communication between devices. In the MQTT architecture, you have a server called a broker. The broker will just make the communication between the different devices. It could be a Windows, a Mac machine, or even a Raspberry Pi. The devices who send the data are called the publisher. The devices who receives the data are called the subscriber. To make the communication, they should choose the same topic. The publisher send data anytime he wants. The subscriber should subscribe to the topic and wait. Anytime a data coming from a publisher arrives, the subscriber will get it. Here I have installed the Mosquito in my window computer. This is the official site. You need to download and install it. The first step is to run the Mosquito service. So, he will start acting as a broker. Keep the window open. The second step is to know the IP address of your computer. You can run the ifconfig command. The third step is to subscribe to a topic. The H parameter is the host. Put the IP of your computer or your broker. The T parameter stands for the topic. I created one called the test. Now my computer is subscribed to the topic test and waiting for any data. Keep the window open. Now I will try to publish something on the test topic. The new parameter here is the M, uh, which stands for the message. Write the message that you want to send to the subscriber. In the subscriber window, you see that the message was received. Now I'm sure that uh, my MQTT server is working properly and I'm ready to program my Raspberry Pi. Go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to EasyPython. Now we will make a programmer that publish a message on my broker. Every time you need to use the MQTT client, you need to call these two blocks. In the connect block, add the IP of your broker. We will use the MQTT functions later. To publish a message, just call the MQTT publish block, write the topic name and the message to be sent. Here I will publish several messages, including a variable i.
Now I'm ready to run my code in the Raspberry Pi. We saw already how to do that in previous videos. Before running the program, you need to install the uh, PAO MQTT library. As you can see, when I run the program, the subscriber starts to receive the messages of the Raspberry Pi. Now let's subscribe our board to the test topic in order to receive the message. For that I will need the subscribe block and the forever loop block. Beware when you use the forever loop block any block under it will be useless because the forever loop uh, block will block the program. We will fix this in the multi-threading part. When a publisher publishes a data, it will be received in the MQTT message block, so I will display it. Beware, you can only use this block in the uh, on message function. Now I will run my program.
Here, the board is subscribed to the topic and waiting for incoming messages. I will try to publish from my computer. And as you can see, it's working now. I hope that it was easy for you as well. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.